I'm going to show you how to wrap uh, triathlon bike uh, aero bars. Um, I'm going to do both the aero bar and the base bar here. So start off with is I've got the tape and you want to decide what color tape you want to use. Um, I've got blue tape to match uh, the, the blue color of my bike. Uh, other choice, I considered white, but white would look real cool until it got dirty and then it would look just really ugly. Um, black tape would, would look good. Black tape can get dirty and still look pretty good. But I decided to go with uh, blue tape, which was dark and should s still stay looking uh, pretty nice for a while. Um, this is Bontrager tape. Uh, Bontrager makes uh, pretty good tape. This is cork tape. They also make like gel tape, but I got the cork tape. And uh, I like Bontrager tape. It just seems to be uh, pretty good quality tape. Um, but you know, it's up to your, your choice, whatever you want to use. So the, the, how I'm going to start off with is I'm going to take a little bit of tape, electrical tape here, and just put it onto the end of the tape. This tape also has um, like little uh, sticky stuff on the inside of the tape here. Okay, with the arrow bar, I'm going to wrap it to the inside. So, and I'm going to start right at the base of the shift lever here. And I'm going to have the tape right up flush to the base of the shifter. And I'm going to start the tape there. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it around one complete wrap to completely cover itself here. And then after I get that one complete wrap in, and I'm applying tension to the tape to help pull it tight, then I'm gonna start wrapping in a spiral down uh, the bar. And you wanna decide um, where you wanna stop. And if you can see on the other one here, I, I stopped right at the, the, uh, the first bend there. So I'm gonna go ahead and overlap the tape by about a third to a half. And just keep going around, applying tension on the tape. You want to apply tension to the tape, but be careful not to apply too much tension on the tape, or you'll tear it. Um, some ta some cheaper tapes tear easier than the, the more expensive tapes. That's one thing I found. Um, you just have to be a little bit more careful about uh, putting it on. And also, it's uh, the better tape seems to be a little bit more durable and less likely to tear just in normal everyday use. So I think it pays to just spend a little bit more and buy a better quality tape. Specialized makes pretty good tape as well. But Bontrager is my favorite. So I'm going to come down here. And come right down here to that bend. And there. So now I got a pair of scissors here. What I'm going to do is I get this tape here. Um, I'm going to cut. So I want the tape to kind of like line up with the other ones there. So I'm going to cut like a diagonal line, like right across the tape. And so it will, let me see, go ahead and cut across here like that. And then I'll wrap the tape around, continuing that around. And now I'm going to use the electrical tape here. And I'm going to put a little bit of tape onto the bottom of the tape here. And I'm going to wrap the tape in the same direction that I was wrapping. And bring that little bit of uh, tape there and wrap it around. And I'm going to be pulling this tape nice and tight for the first so many uh, wraps because that will help keep the, uh, the tape there in, you know, without keep it from sliding or around. Now once I have that wrapped around, the final turn, I'm going to go ahead and cut this just a nice flat end there. And the final turns, I'm going to apply very little tension, just a little bit of tension, so that it 
follows the contours of the tape and the curve there, but I'm not going to be pulling it really super tight because what happens if you pull it real tight there for the final turns is the tape will be pulling against the adhesive and will slowly crawl back and you just don't want that. So anyway, I got that there. So now I'm going to go ahead and wrap the base bar. Okay, so now with the base bar, where on the air bar I wrapped around to the inside, on the base bar I want to go ahead and wrap around to the outside. Um, the reason that you wrap in these particular directions has to do with the pressure that your hands apply to the uh, bars when you're uh, writing and uh, it helps keep the tape from unraveling or pulling against the edges there. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead, the same thing at the bottom of the brake lever there, I'm going to go ahead and have the tape nice and flush up against the bottom of the tape lever. I've got this a little bit of electrical tape there to go ahead and start it there. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap the first wrap completely around over itself, flush up against the bottom of the, of the uh, brake lever, and then pull the tape down. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap down to probably around this logo here. Once I get the first full wrap there covering itself, I'm going to start spiraling over itself, wrap it, covering it uh, by about, overlapping about by about a third to a half. I keep pulling this little tape off the inside there so it sticks. Some tapes uh, have like a like an adhesive on the back of them. Some have sort of a rubbery just stuff that helps it kind of uh, adhere a hold to the um, bars. Some don't have anything at all, but this particular type has like a tape that you pull the little backing off of and it'll stick. So that comes down just down to personal preference. Okay, as I come down to here, I'm gonna overlap this here. And again, I'm going to cut like a diagonal line like right across there. So just cut a diagonal line there. And then go ahead and wrap that around. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my electrical tape. Again, I'm going to wrap this and continue pulling this around in the direction that I was wrapping the tape. And I'm going to be pulling this nice and tight, stretching the tape and getting around. And then for the final turns, I just peel off a little bit of uh, tape there, cut a nice, a nice flat end there, and then I'm going to wrap it around with very little tension, just enough tension so that it matches the, the contours of the tape. Wrap it around down to the bottom. There. That is how you wrap arrow bars.